Thank you very much, Dwayne, for that comprehensive report. To more news on the political scene now, commentators have been reacting to yesterday's decision by People's National Party Councillor for the Trafalgar Division, Carrie Douglas, to switch allegiance to the Jamaica Labour Party. Now, Ms. Douglas crossed the floor to join the JLP at the Kingston and St. Andrew Municip Municipal Corporation. We're now joined live in studio by political commentator Javian Nelson. Javian, let's just get straight into it. A uh, councillor crossing the floor, is it a big deal? People are basically underplaying the significance. Do you think it is significant? If so, Yeah, why? I think it, it, it is a really big deal. I mean, this is Carrie Douglas. This is not any just any comrade who would have worked hard in the party and gone up. This is someone who, um, you know, is from the, it's an offspring of a real senior PNP person who would have died recently, Easton Douglas. And so I think this is a big deal. The writing may have been on the wall that, something like this might have happened and that Kari was disgruntled and that maybe the party was not necessarily in favor with her but certainly for something like this to happen and at this time I think is a really huge deal. All right let's look at the PNP statement uh, basically just said we wished Miss Douglas well and uh, that they are well advanced in confirming a, a new candidate for the Trafalgar division. What do you make of the PNP's response to the, to the crossing of the floor? It was surprisingly very brief, um, but I imagine they did that deliberately. Interestingly, I saw today on, on the news that they actually have, have someone already in place as a caretaker for that seat. So um, very quick actions by the People's National Party, which suggests that you know clearly this was something that was brewing quite a long time and that they were just waiting to uh, make this happen but I think when you look at Kari's statement for example yesterday that she released just afterwards it was really damning I think it really spoke a lot to some of the challenges in the People's National Party things that people have been talking about for quite some time and things that they ought to really sit down and think about to re-energize the party and revitalize and renew the party for the upcoming general election. And of course of note she was a supporter of Peter Bunting yes. in his uh, Rise United campaign and now quickly let's look at the JLP's uh, release yesterday we welcome you Carrie but there are some some commentators who suggest that it's PR. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's going to be some PR, there's going to be some politics. I mean, something like this, somebody like Kari Douglas is a heavyweight, right? Even though it's local government, Kari is a big name in the People's National Party, given who she is. And so certainly there's going to be quite a lot that one can milk from this and to suggest that all is not well with the PNP. And again, if you go back to her statement, it really suggests um, that she has so much confidence in the Prime Minister in terms of his stewardship for the country, um, having new ideas and the ways in which he facilitates young people and their ideas. And so certainly that's really a blow to the People's National and Party. And finally, uh, Javian, what role do you see her playing in the JLP? You know, some have said that it's quite possible that she could be the MP caretaker going against Julian Robbins, who she has, she has worked with for quite some time. Um, but I imagine that someone like her, given she's a hard worker and she connects well with so many people, could also be somebody in the streets working hard, canvassing, campaigning and helping the Jamaica Labour Party in the election that, took, that is to come. A Senate position is now available. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> but you never know. You know, it's politics and... The, the JLP clearly has a strategy and uh, some very strong way of doing things that anything might happen, but I doubt someone like her would be appointed. All right. Thank you so much, Javier Nelson, a political commentator. We take a break now, but we'll have more after this break.